Hello folks, Killface of Baylor here. Today we will be actually playing Knights of the Old Republic on Android. Um, this is what I do when I don't have a um, internet connection. And while I have a little bit of internet at the moment, uh, for the most part, my internet is gone. Let's see, I think we want to be... Hmm. Yes, I think... Scoundrel Consular, maybe? I don't know, the most current unlocks I, I think that I'll get is from a soldier. But we're, we're gonna go for this. Um, this is kind of like the Rogue. I am playing a fairly heavily modded version of KOTOR, so if you have not played before, I don't recommend uh, watching my walkthroughs, um, at least not all of them, as there are probably some spoilers, there's extra dialogue, um, you turn to Jedi almost immediately, um, and just a, a lot of things because for the most part if I'm playing on no connection I'm playing on the, a plane or something and I don't really want to think about what I'm doing I just want to sort of mindlessly dawdle but we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna customize the character for sure alright so I'm going to try and use a um, a combination of the uh, of strength and charisma, I think. What do we have? Um, that's an okay portrait. Uh, again, some of these won't always be available. Uh, yeah, let's go with the with the one mod I've I've managed to succeed with. Um, for the male faces, which is this one. I'm a little curious how it'll look in game because as you can see, you have two sort of different looks right here. So we'll go with that. All right, now, okay. Strength increases your damage and your accuracy uh, with melee weapons, including lightsabers. Now lightsabers will actually draw their attack from dexterity as well, but um, they won't draw damage from it. So... I think we want these... Most of these can safely be at 14. So... As you can see, it takes two points to increase this, right? My points go down by two. But if I get to a certain point, now it takes three points to increase it. Right, and now it, now it becomes a problem. So, you can just stack into one stat. Uh, but basically, your multiplier is a penalty if you leave it at 8. It's 0 if you bring it to 10. Um, oh, I don't want to stack Charisma as much as I want to stack Wisdom, I think. Charisma and Wisdom are both used to multiply my Force skills, but... Um, Oh, Constitution, yes. I think I can take the Dexterity penalty without a problem. Um, but I'm a little iffy on using... Let's do this. Hmm. Oh, and I could do this too. I think really here we want... No, this, this should do. Okay, we'll, we'll work with this. Okay. Because I don't, I don't want a constitution penalty for sure. Um, and you kind of have to know as far as uh, charisma 
or sorry, as far as intelligence, how many skill points you're going to get for your class. But I'm going to get quite a few uh, because I picked a class that tends to get more skill points. See how this costs two skill points? Um, skills that are natural for me uh, only cost one. So repair costs two, which is a bummer because there is something you can do with. Um, uh, I don't remember what it's, what, uh, what the the droid is called now. But the attack droid, HK-47, I think. Alright, so we don't need stealth or demolitions or any of that very much. We do need uh, Persuade. We're going to max Persuade. I think everyone gets some in Treat Injury, which makes your med packs more useful. You definitely don't need awareness, as far as I know, because your party almost always has it. <sighs> we're going to go ahead and put points in rep Oh, no, we're not. We're not putting points in repair yet. And I'll bet we can't put points in computer use either. No, we don't want to do that, because when we become a Jedi, we'll get... I think some of these skills, and I might even decide to go as a consular, uh, sorry, as a sentinel for that reason. I think really a consular is probably the way to go, but um, whatever my class skills are, before I become Jedi, um, I can still use them later after I become Jedi, So, so let's see. I don't know if I can get back to this screen to level up, and really, there's some XP I can pick up later on if I have uh, those uh, skills leveled. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, and pass this for now. Okay, feats. Now I don't. I think I have to use all my feats. Let's see. That's... No, that's a double-bladed. I don't need that. Don't need medium armor proficiency. I don't think I need more critical strike. Unfortunately, this uh, sneak this sneak attack ability won't level with me. Uh, nor will my scoundrel's luck. I believe dueling is not what we want to do. We want to dual wheel here. Um, shoot. Gearhead gives me skill points that I don't really need. Um, I'm trying to think of what things I can't level until after I'm a uh, after I'm a Jedi. And I'm not totally sure. So there's a lightsaber proficiency. There's a Oh, it's the dual wheeling thing, isn't it? Uh, where is it? Ha! Two weapon fighting. Um. Oop. Okay, so I think. I think we do want to dual wield. Just wield, uh, single sabers. Wait, I think that, uh, 
that the Jedi can get that, though. What can the Jedi not get? This is frustrating. Conditioning. I think the Jedi gets that one. I don't remember. This is ridiculous. Oh, well. Um, anyway. You'll get to see a little bit of me building up a character. Hopefully. Alright, Flurry. Um, I'm trying to remember which of these attacks is the best. This one gives an extra melee, and I think this one ends up giving two extra melee attacks, or just one? Just one, I suppose. And... Eh, okay. Well, we're going to ignore all that for now, and we're going to... We're going to do two-weapon fighting, because we don't mind having that. Okay. That's all good. Critical strike, I don't think, is what I want. I think I want... Flurry, although uh, power attack is good once you have a certain amount of strength. I don't remember. Anyway, this game isn't super hard, but this is one of the harder parts, deciding how to build your character. I've done research on this before, uh, but as you can see, I'm a bit out of uh, practice. So, I'm sure some of you will hate me. I apologize for that. We're just going to go with the one the character... Uh, prefers because um, otherwise I'm going to have to change attacks too often and I don't want to do that. Good heavens. What a change in brightness. That's not right. So what happened here is that for some reason... My keyboard is having issues. Alright. And... Now we start. Sorry. So all I was trying to do is make sure that my spells um, or, or force attacks go up decently and also that uh, I have enough strength to kill things with a lightsaber. I'm going to rely heavily on a lightsaber early on. Um, because it's heavily modded, I know that I'll have enough gear. I am going to be... Um, What do we want to do here? If we are the Guardian, we get a special attack, but it's not as useful as it is in an unmodded version. We're going to go with Consular. Okay, now we can level up. Do not auto-level up. Just don't do that. That's not going to be good. See, suddenly I can do computer use. Um... Repair. Security lets me hack doors, which actually in this mod might be an important thing to be able to do. But we have to be careful because I'm not getting too many extra points along the way. Um, so we're going to leave those for now because as my levels go up, I can use them later. As far as the feats, the force focus is the thing that is, uh, I think unique to sentinels, although I could be wrong with that. Okay, 
So, now, we're going to go to our lightsaber proficiency. Now, if I had chosen Guardian, I would get another uh, proficiency with the, with the lightsaber that I do not currently have. I can't level those up, which is a bummer. Jedi Defense is actually really nice, so we will we will add that. And we will max it. Boom. Also, we'll take a minute to check what we've lost. Looks like nothing important. Maybe nothing at all. Okay. These are force powers. Um, hmm. I was hoping I'd start with more points than that, but I don't. Oh well. Force push is nice, but... I don't know. And I'm going to go light side, uh, because a whole lot of the gear is... Oh, you need speed. That's just... That's a must. It just makes the whole game better. I need something to kill with, though, I think. Oh, we don't want energy resistance or force resistance. Darn it. We'll get a helper with cure. So push leads to force wave, which is a good skill. Um, the dark side version of this actually comes earlier, is easier to get. Uh, and you'll see that... For the most part, see, it's a universal power. If I go to something like Force Lightning, it's a dark side power. Um, so you want to, you get penalized if you go light side and use dark side powers. Not enough that it's a big deal. I could probably still afford it with the build I will use. Okay, so now, normally there's someone here to describe the game to you, but the idea is if you're using this mod, you already know what's going on. Now, this is a different set of items than I normally get. Uh, we're gonna... Hey. Not cool. There we go. Okay. I don't have bracelets. Darn it. Oh well. Now, in the main hand... We want the lightsaber, and we will use that short sword. Um, I cannot use a blaster and a lightsaber together, and I think that's all the gear that I have at the moment. Go over here. Okay. Yes, I think the gear I have is not uh, really any better than what... Uh, than what I'm wearing, so I'm wearing the best that I can. Now, we're going to... So I applied force speed, which will let me get out faster, but it also means that I uh, have problems with not enough force powers. That's Kareth telling me... Kareth? Karth? Karth, I think. Telling me that... Uh, the ship is under attack. So now I'm going to attack this door and I'm going to get through. If you don't have enough strength, attacking the doors is an unrealistic um, thing to do here. Okay, so here's what we want to do. Let's see. All right, so it pauses before we go into combat and I want to push this person. Okay. And then I want to go to this person and critical strike them. And then... Normal attack as well. Hey! Not cool. Oh, I don't need to normal attack with this. I only need a normal attack when I'm using uh, the Guardian for its uh, jump attack. Jedi Defense gives me a chance to deflect 
uh, what they throw at me. So I need to make sure that there's no chance that all these things are going to drop stuff that I need. I don't think they are. And guys not either. Open the door. Okay. My force powers are almost all the way back up. We're going to critical strike. And we're just, we're just going to stack critical strikes for now. I could force push, but come on, let's not. Jedi defense is the reason why I'm doing so well. Well, okay, this game was never meant to be particularly hard, but especially in a situation where... Um, So the, the controls are exactly like CH. Um, oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, oops. Already got that. Okay. So there's a metal box that I haven't dealt with then. And my thought for this video is just to play through the, the landing ship, but as you can see already, uh, things are quite different. So again, if you haven't... Ooh, wait a minute. No, I think I got everything. Okay. So now we're going to go in here. I'm going to click on hey, this, because I think... Yeah, so my short sword, I can actually equip a long sword, and it's a little bit better. Um, yeah, so, that's that, okay. Awesome. Now, normally I'd be throwing grenades and shooting my way through here, and it'd be relatively rough. Uh, none of that is the case right now. My Jedi robes work as an okay defense, and... Yeah, basically I'm overpowered for this level, so if you're playing in a heavily modded situation, you're going to be overpowered. Okay. Now I could throw a grenade here, but we're gonna we're gonna just force push this person and then critical strike. And then we'll throw force speed, I guess, because we don't have that going for some reason. It's the wrong order, honestly. So I do have to be careful here, I could die. Um, whenever I exit the screen like that, it does speed up, but uh, this is a, re a relatively difficult, uh, the, the game itself is more difficult on purpose because I'm overpowered. Um, more difficult doesn't mean particularly difficult, but <laughs> the original... Um, the original game was obviously not balanced for this, so that's not a thing. Okay, so they're letting me go through this parts pile, so I'll have the security spikes necessary the next time to, um... Come on. There we go. Oh, I forgot. These remains. It's always good to search these, because for starters, you can use whatever you get when you can get while you're starting out, and, uh, Secondly, because this has a bunch of weird mods and I don't remember what all of them are, sometimes, oh, uh, wait, wait, what on earth? Yeah, that's the wrong direction. Sometimes there's some cool stuff that I've forgotten I added. I mean, I didn't write any of this, obviously, but uh, someone wrote it, and I think it's kind of cool. I just downloaded a bunch of it for my Android. I think I get something off of her in this mod. Normally, I believe I would have to run away. I don't remember what happens here in the original. It's been a long time, and like I said, I don't like to think a lot while I'm playing. All right. Uh, and normally, you get help here. You get a helper who sacrifices himself at one point. 
Uh, so instead of letting him sacrifice himself, he's just not at all in the mod. Um, okay. Okay, now I have to search these remains because I believe that she leaves something important. I don't remember what. Of course, I'm going to say that and then it's going to be wrong. Uh, no, the vibrocell is good. That's that's what I was remembering. Okay. All that is is the ability to upgrade um, the... Here we go. Ah, nice. All right. Hey, hey, not cool. I guess we have to do this first to load the combat uh, thing up. All right. Here's going to be a bit of a rough patch as well. Or not. Or not. I thought there was another person there, but whatever. All right. Now. We'll try to get everything. i got to be careful. Those explosions actually can hurt me. But, again, I'll take whatever I can get. And I think there's a backpack. Oh, I missed it the first time through. Charming. Here we go. Again, the layout will be a little different if you're playing normal coach. Or I think this mod or this uh, game cost me about ten dollars, but I got it kind of as part of my entertainment expenses when we went to Hawaii because I knew I would have a very long flight. I was flying with my two-year-old and was really hoping he would nap for a large portion of it. But if I'm stuck in the seat next to him and he's napping, I've got to find a way to entertain myself and. Well, I do know that uh, Netflix will let you download, or Amazon Prime will let you download. Um, it's not really... Uh, I think this is the one that you normally would open. No, I'm wrong. Okay, so I don't want to go. I don't want to go in there yet, because I still have to find things here. Anyway. Um, hey. Um, hmm, there's a prototype fiber blade that I haven't found yet. I don't like that. I don't know where it is, but I want it. Anyway, yeah, I purchased this, and so this is what I do when I don't have internet. And I'm sure it's just as boring as watching me play traditionally would be. Uh, oh... That's right, you go into this section, and then he sends you a message saying, Hey, hurry up, everything's about to go crazy. And then, oh, blast. Why am I doing this without speed? I'm used to traveling at a CH walking speed from playing paragraphs. Notice he's stunned for a turn. If I had actually force pushed again, he would still be stunned. That would probably be the better thing to do in this situation. But, uh... Yeah, I didn't do that, so... Oh, well. I have a lot of frag grenades, but honestly, I don't need them. Normally, I would be using them like crazy in the traditional version, because, like I said, I don't like to have to think about things, and I run out of my grenades pretty quickly, because they're an easy way to not have to think about things. Okay. Push you. Uh push you, um, and then we'll go ahead and attack you. So my jump attack would be super useful here uh, if I were a guard, but that's not a thing. So we're going to hit him, push him, and then nice. Okay. I need all the parts I can get. And I can get a little extra XP here. I'll see if I can show you how to do that. Um, uh, 
Okay, so I think in the next room is where I get... So this is a broken down combat droid. There are two options. You can talk to the com... You can fix the combat droid. It runs in and kills them. Or you can come over to this control panel. Fix the control panel and then it kills them. Either one. However, the better option from an XP perspective, not necessarily from a best use of your resources perspective. But here's a little way you can maximize HP. Or XP, and we'll see if I can do this or not. We reactivate the droid. Now, because I um, have because I have points in repairs, this takes me a little bit less repair. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh well. So what I want to do is begin the patrol mode. And then when I leave it alone, I'm on a timer. So as soon as I hit OK, it does its thing. I need to run this way, click the screen. And then once I'm in here, I can actually uh, overload the conduit. So I get the XP for reactivating the droid, which is going to storm in and kill everyone. And I can overload this as if it's going to zap everyone. It would have zapped everyone who was alive. But I still get the XP for it, so... Yeah, I just wanted to show that real quick. Okay. Footlocker. Oh, this is that footlocker. Brilliant. I'm a pure genius. Okay. Now... Uh, should be the dude in red, I think. Haha! <laughs> yes. So the prototype fiber blade is what I want instead of my sword. You here, here, all right, and then the prototype fiber, bl fiber blade, which is upgradable and does not get penalized for being used in the offhand. Uh, this uh, balanced weapons uh, do better in the in the offhand. Although I think the lightsaber might be balanced as well. No, apparently not. Also, my mod makes... <laughs> I have a mod that makes the lightsaber better on top of the mod that makes me a Jedi, which is kind of nice. And also, again, kind of cheating. But, um, you know, that's cool. All right, so what it wants me to do here, and this is an intelligent thing to do, is to go in and save. However, it will auto-save once I... Um, once I go through the escape pod to the next uh, use the escape pod okay once I go to the next place okay now I fly down to the planet the ship blows up basically we got attacked and um, I didn't remember what happened which you would have seen if I would have used the normal game uh, and then they just explain to me kind of how to do combat. And then here, he's going to explain to me what actually happened. One of the upsides, so there I have a vision of the lady that was in charge of the fleet that we're going to rescue. One of the upsides of playing this game as male is that um, you're, you always have a love interest in the game. You don't have to do anything about that, but you always have one. Um, Okay. But this guy is like the worst as far as his uh, communication. It's always, Karth wants to talk. You go to talk to him. I don't want to talk about it. It's like, oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Okay, cool. I just wanted to, to get him to stop talking. There we go. All right. So in the locker, I think you have some things. Uh, we're going to, okay. Never auto level up. That's that's just asking for trouble. <sighs> we want persuade up, and we're going to want force persuade as a thing anyway. I don't remember what level you need to be to get that to happen. Um, we're going to try and keep our repair up. <sighs> Security, maybe, or computer use. I don't know. 
Um, so we're getting two points per level, which means I could probably keep my um, computer use high enough. It's kind of a bummer to not have the... Uh, Caution, I don't think. No, the skill point bonuses are not a big deal most of the time. For repair, they can be, but most of the time they're not. We just decided we're doing critical strike, so we will do max critical strike. <laughs> we don't need medium or heavy armor yet. Um... Hmm. Conditioning, I think, is good at the end, right? Uh, yeah, so conditioning is decent. Empathy could be good for the boost to persuade skill, but I don't think you can pass 20 anyway, so that's not great. Um, implants. We want implants. I don't know that we want them yet, but we do want them eventually. Uh, I think normally we try to take the... Um, yes. Try and take the conditioning as well. Okay. <sighs> Affect mind. Yes, we want that. I don't remember what I need level to get to dominate mind. Darn it. Let's see. Oh, this is a good skill, although the dark side version is available earlier and is a generally better skill. Uh, but this is a this is a stun. The droid stun is also good. Um, lightsaber throw is cool, but it's not nearly enough. Damage, in my opinion. Uh, drain life is also cool. Yeah, fear and plague is the is the better one here. We will probably end up using. Um, wait, slow as a dark side power. Oh, bother. Oh well. Wound is dark side. Yes, okay. Well, we're going to use this. Light side combative powers are pretty limited. Alright, so we have successfully landed on the planet. Now there's going to be a fight right when we walk out the door. Um, do we have other stuff? No, we don't. Okay. Cool, and I'm gonna have to add this guy to my party. But anyway, there's playing through the ship. Again, don't watch this series if you haven't played the game, or at least if you intend to play the game, as there will be spoilers since my version of the game is heavily modded, and I don't remember for sure where all the mods are, and not all the dialogue is consistent with keeping the uh, ending secret, and this is one of those games where uh, there's a decent... Um, set of secrets through the game that uh, kind of help drive the um, the reason to play it. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. And hope you enjoyed that. If it was boring, I apologize. Um, 
I know it's not my usual content, but as I said, my internet is down, and this is what I do when my internet is down and I'm on my phone. So, anyway, uh, thank you, and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Have a great day. Goodbye.